Guys, Andy here again messing about in the shed. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to repair this turbo intercooler with this two pack epoxy resin system. Okay, if you can just see the uh, the hole there in the in the intercooler, we've just cleaned it out with a file. Uh, so we're going to be mixing some of this epoxy resin uh, pellets or putty up and uh, filling the hole with that. I know it works, I've done it before many times. Okay, so here's one of the uh, the pellets, um, or you can get it in the, the tube as well, I'll show you the tube. I'll put some links to these in the description if you want to try some out. This is like, um, if you, you've got some bigger repairs to do, this is more of a, a bigger piece. But you can you can just chop it off with um, your craft knife um, and use as much or as little as you want. And it, it won't go off, so you've got nothing to worry about there. Put that back in there, yeah in the tube so I'll use this uh, one of the pellets today um, and once the outside is mixed with the inside and you do this by just kneading it between your thumb and your finger uh, it goes absolutely rock hard okay so what all we're doing guys we're just jamming it in this is really moldable so uh, we use all of this we're just jamming it into that hole Can you see Jamming it right in. Jammers, push it, push it, push it right back. Push it right into the hole. Force it in, and you know you've got a real good, uh, good tight seal there. See that we force that right into the hole. A little bit over. There you go, guys. And that is going to go absolutely rock hard. There you go. See the way I force that. Right in. There you go. As I say, mixing it between your, your thumb and your fingers like that. You'll have a little bit on your on your fingers when you've uh, when you've finished. But just wash wash that under the tap. It'll come straight off. Yeah, come straight off your fingers. I just used a little bit of fairy liquid and some warm water. Um, so that's that's completely done, guys. That is going to completely set, uh, absolutely rock hard like stone. Um, yeah, it, it cures within. They say it sets within minutes, as you read on the packet, um, and fully sets within three or four hours. Um, but I like to leave it overnight. Um, and if it's something that's really important to you, like it's a repair on an engine block, uh, say a motorbike and you've had to put some new thread in it, um, leave it a few days guys, because here's some that I've, uh, I've used, I've, I've mixed up and it's some spare, spare bits and bobs, and, and look how hard that is, it goes absolutely like stone, that there is going to be like stone, uh, but it keeps getting harder if you leave it a few days i mean some of some of these have been a few weeks and i have to say i know it's set it says it sets within you know a set time but it just gets harder and harder and harder it's like stone so the, the longer you can leave it the better like i said the more important the job is to you uh, leave it as long as you possibly can a little job which i wanted to show you it's um a heat exchanger off a car uh, it's made out of this I don't know, it's like a stainless steel material uh, for the project I'm doing I wanted to put some copper pipes into it and uh, obviously you can't weld the copper to um, the stainless so I, I just wedge some of this uh, copper pipe in into the uh, the pipe work there coming out of the heat uh, the heat exchanger and uh, I've just fixed it with this uh, epoxy resin 
uh, two pack system uh, just mixed it together for, forced as much of a, a can of it down into the uh, f you know really forced it into the pipe so it creates a nice uh, nice fix and uh, that's gone exactly that's that's hard guys that is so absolutely rock hard that's that's been there a, like a few days and that's going to do that job absolutely perfect just to, just what i wanted that is just as you saw me like really press that jam that into that uh turbo intercooler you can do the same thing with a leaky pipe like a, a leaky water pipe or radiator um a tap or a fixing uh well any leak if, it can be slightly wet um slightly damp um even underwater you can use this it still cures you've got to really press it in and hold it hold your thumb over it until you know it's, it's gone quite quite stiff yeah so i've, I've fixed quite a few uh household uh you know kind of plumbing leaks with this uh as well as many automotive things like like this uh i fixed oil leaks on motorbikes um i always i use this instead of uh you know when you're fixing a, an exhaust on you're putting a new uh connection in i use this instead of like the gun gun paste that you're supposed to use because this goes a lot harder and it really stands up to the heat okay i'll just show you how hard this is guys look at that so you, you can actually drill it and you can you can tap it out and put thread in there it's that hard look at this so yeah like i said guys i've put some links to links to this in the description um i'll say you want this one this uh bigger putty pack if you've got more of a bigger job on uh, but you can just cut a little piece off with a craft knife um and i used a little bit of this uh oh, got a month ago and it's still you know really soft and moldable um you just keep it in there and it stays nice and fresh or if you want to do a little job use one of these nice little handy pellets the likes of this repair here guys that we've done uh, a few minutes ago to this intercooler that's going to go rock hard um it's absolutely you can do it on the job in situation in situ so you haven't got to strip the whole um front of the car down you know what it's like sometimes to get to something like that uh, so it's well worth a try um to, to do this kind of repair with this kind of epoxy you can you can you can clean it up after um you can sand it down you can paint over it you can make it look pretty um but i mean most times you, you can't even see these things on it on a car anyway if it doesn't work what have you got to lose five six seven pound that's that's how much this kind of stuff is so it, it's well worth a try rather than replacing the whole intercooler for you know hundreds of pounds so I hope this has helped one or two of you to save some money. Um, if it has, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel. And check out my other videos, guys. Some more stuff like this. Thanks for watching.